As the warm glow of Christmas brightens our homes, streets, shops and workplaces, our hearts are burdened by a stark, dark reality. The disturbing rise of anti-Semitism in our own backyard. At a time symbolic of peace and goodwill, this year we face the jarring juxtaposition of deep-seated hatred taking root and gaining ground in our beloved Australia. We're deeply concerned by recent events in Victoria where master individuals paraded through Ballarat's streets promoting hateful neo-Nazi ideology, including the burning of crosses. While some may say these are mere shows of bluster and bravado, history shows the spirit behind the emergence of such acts can stir up rapid, violent escalation, metastasizing and spreading suddenly without reason and without warning. And already the behaviors we're seeing transcend mere protests. Pro-Palestinian rallies around the country are chanting from the river to the sea, which is not a freedom cry, but a deeply ingrained call for the genocide and complete annihilation of the Jewish people. The veil is thin, and this repugnant behaviour has no place in our peaceful society. From schoolgirls attacked for wearing Jewish school uniforms, to the violent intimidation of family members of Israeli hostages in Melbourne, these incidents go far beyond the realm of free speech. We have seen the protesters attempting to block the movement of cargo ships owned by an Israeli company, threatening the fabric of multicultural Australia, our treasured land of the fair go. The recent increase in such acts has been unmistakable and make no mistake, our country now hangs in the balance of one of the gravest geopolitical tensions of our lifetime. We ignore the potential consequences at our peril. At the Australian Christian Lobby, we firmly stand against anti-Semitism and aggressive, hate fueled speech in all its forms. As we navigate these turbulent times, the ACL is also committed to prayer. We pray for the innocent on all sides of this conflict, both locally and internationally. Our hearts are with those affected by this wave of anti-Semitism who feel unwelcome and unsafe in our country. We stand in solidarity with the Jewish community. We acknowledge the volatility and complexity of this conflict and call for informed, nuanced discussions. Let us not be drawn into illogical lurching with the emotionally heated words of hate. Let us draw inspiration from the teachings of Jesus, who challenged us to examine our hearts, saying from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, reminding us that harbored ill will towards our neighbor eventually spills out into the open. History teaches us that the outworking of hate is a futile endeavor, a losing strategy, leading us to a darker place. We are witnessing things in Australia that we have never seen before. True leadership is needed to confront and curb these hateful outbreaks. Law enforcement agencies should fulfill their duty in enforcing laws against hate symbols, gestures, chants and threats of violence. The rule of law must be upheld to ensure the safety of every individual, regardless of their backgrounds or beliefs. Let us remember the values that define us as a nation. Banning symbols of hate is essential, but so is education. Our cultural institutions, education systems and churches must address these issues head on. Individuals and groups supporting anti-Semitic acts in our country must be singled out and held to account. We must stamp out aggression and genocidal behaviour at all costs. Our parliament and government must do more to ensure the safety and protection of the Jewish community, just like any other community. While the Labour Party may seem divided on the issue, our government must put politics aside to take a strong, decisive stance so that swift action can be taken before it is too late. Collectively, we can restore Australia's standing as one of the safest countries in the world, a place where every individual, regardless of their background, can be treated with dignity and respect, free from the shadows of hatred. Let this Christmas serve as a poignant reminder to reflect the values of peace and goodwill, love and compassion, just as Jesus showed compassion to mankind, even in the face of hostility, contradiction, and the contempt towards him. His birth and sacrificial life made an emphatic statement by God of the intrinsic value of every individual made in his image. We would do well as a nation to remember this. May God bless you and your family this Christmas with his peace, and may God bless Australia.